My name is Shani Yasri and I'm fourth generation Australian born South Sea Islander. I was born and raised in Mackay. My grandfathers came from Vanuatu and Solomon Islands. A long time ago, as history would say, from the islands of the Pacific, they stole our ancestors away. On sailing ships, they were herded and locked in chains. They were put to work with this strange crop called sugarcane. I was about nine or ten years of age, and I remember going out to my dad's cane farm. He had to feed the horses while his boss was away. All of a sudden, I noticed there was these chains up on the wall. And I said to my dad, Dad, what are those chains for? And he immediately turned around and said, Shh, don't let the big boss hear you say that. And I said, why, Dad? He goes, you see those chains up there? They were chained around our people. But why, Dad? To stop them from running away. Many bosses were cruel and did not care. Some were kind, but they were rare. As I got older, I then found out there were 62,000 islanders that were brought over from the Pacific Islands. Then as I did more research, I came across some old black and white photos. And in those photos, I could see the South Sea Islander people working in the cane fields. Then as I looked closely, there was men, women and children working in the, in the cane fields as well. I believe that religion was our people's salvation. When our people converted to Christianity, they were more accepted in European society. Over a hundred years later, in the cane fields, we still work. Not as slaves, but with air cabs, stereos and a few other perks. Our people have survived 150 years of oppression and suppression. And some of our people still feel like that today. Many of our people have prospered not off Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander grants or monies, but with hard work and with a good sense of values and morals, as well as saving hard to be able to own their own home, their car, and even a tinny. And although we may not be practising Christians, it is those Christian values and morals that we were brought up on and that we instil in our children today. What does 150 years mean to me? Remembering our history and telling our story as well as celebrating our people's survival and prosperity. As our bodies grow old and our spirits grow tired, with dim eyes we look back with pride.